I'm JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to give you a short overview of a Precision 3630 workstation. As always, in the description below, we will post a link to our Precision 3630 upgrade guide. So if you guys have any questions about upgrading your systems and you're looking for components, uh, feel free to click on that link after watching this video. These are the specs to our Precision 3630 workstation. The 3630 supports a max CPU of an i9-9900K and 128GB of DDR4 memory. This is our Precision 3630 chassis. The front of the chassis has a slimline optical drive, two USB 2.0 Type-A ports, one USB 3.1 Type-A 5GB port, one USB 3.1 Type-C 10GB data only port, and a headset port. It also features one SD card port. The Precision 3630 has three power supply options, a 300 watt, a 460 watt, and an 850 watt. The back of the chassis features two PS2 ports, a serial port, two display ports, and that's if you decide to use the embedded graphics card, two USB 2.0 ports, and four USB 3.1 Type-A 5 gig port, plus one audio and one gigabit port. The top of the chassis has a CPU cooling vent. The side panel also features a power supply cooling vent and a GPU cooling vent. You can remove the side panel by pulling the lever on the back of the chassis. To access the memory, processor, and power supply, you have to unlock two levers on the back of the chassis. You do this by pressing up on those levers to unlock them. You can then access the system board by opening up the power supply chassis bracket. Now we have gained access to the internal chassis components. The Precision 3630 has two heatsink processor options. The option on the left is the high performance heatsink and the option on the right is the standard heatsink. We're not 100% sure but we think the high performance heatsink is required for CPUs that have 91 watts or more. If you have a Precision 3630, please comment below and let us know what processor model you have installed as well as which heatsink you have installed. This will help us determine which CPU wattage requires the high performance heatsink. We will now remove the graphics card to give us a closer look at the I.O. slots. This system did not come stock with it, but there is a front optional I.O. cooling fan. As you can see, the Precision 3630 has one full height PCIe X16 slot, one PCI slot, and two full height PCIe X4 slots. The system also has a very valuable NVMe M.2 slot on the system board for super fast storage. This is a close up look at the Precision 3630 BIOS setup. You can access the BIOS by tapping F2 after turning your computer on or restarting your computer. We are not going to explain anything specifically about the BIOS, but if you do have questions about the BIOS settings, please feel free to comment below.
If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and also remember to check out the Precision 3630 hardware upgrade link in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching.